Good evening YouTube, time for a review. Yeah, I know I don't do reviews, but the other night I was on Facebook, one of the Facebook groups, I believe it was one of the CR10 groups, and there was somebody on talking about a company in the UK that was selling 3D printing filament. This company, this one here, it's called Florence Tech UK. Um, little bit about the company basically uh, the directors of the company were out in China they were working in um, R&D in the Chinese 3d printing world and they got a bit homesick they missed you know English tea and bacon sandwiches and that kind of thing so they moved back to the UK they got back here and they realized there was a gap in the market for um, 3d filament available to buy in the UK. So they set up this company, Florence Tech, um, and they sell 3D printing filament, they sell 3D printing pens. Um, they're a small company. Uh, like I said, they're based in the UK, but they buy from China direct from the contacts that they made while they were working out there. Now, like I say, I got this information from a Facebook group. So I thought, well, you know, I'll see if they're interested in me doing a quick review of, of some of the filament. So I threw an email out to them, got a reply from a nice lady called Anne. And she said, yeah, we've got some filament in stock at the moment. We're waiting for another big shipment to come over. Uh, but if you could send us the postage and packing, we'll send you a roll of filament for you to review. Stick a video on and see what you think. So. I, they asked for £2.75p to send me a full roll of filament. Now I thought, mm, that's cheap. I actually sent them £3 because I couldn't be bothered messing about. But I thought, well, that's cheap. So I looked on the website and that's the actual postage and packing price. £2.75 per roll. Well, that's a no-brainer for a start, isn't it? Um, the prices, they have a, an eBay page and an actual website and the prices on those are the retail price is £20 a roll but at the moment they're doing it at £16 a roll. So it's £16 a roll and then it's £2.75 postage and packing. So under 20 quid, you get a roll of filament. So cut a long story short, they sent me a roll of filament. They had two... Uh, in stock that they said they can send out straight away which came basically next day um, and they said one was a, a green and the other one was a pink but they said they would surprise me with which one they sent well you know which one they sent it's glaringly obvious they sent me the pink <sighs> so there I am with a roll of pink filament so I thought, well, I'll do lots of printing on one thing or another and, and dial it all in and get it all up and running. And then I thought, well, that's not really the best way to test filament, is it? The best way to test a filament is grab a file, stick it through a slicer, bang it on with just any old filament settings, you know, just the, the basic filament settings and see what it does. So that's what I did. Got the Prusa out, switched it on went into the Prusa Vision uh, edition of Cura, got a file, stuck it on, just the, the bog standard settings, nothing special, um, and printed something. What I printed was this. Now you all recognize this. I know Joel, it's one of his favorite models that he uses for his benches now. I like it too. Uh, we both kind of came across it at the same time and we both sort of said on Twitter, do you know, we might use this as our standard benchy for 2018. And that's basically what we're both doing. He's not stealing it from me, I'm not stealing it from him. It's just, it's it's a bit different from the benchy belt, isn't it? It's just like the next stage. Anyway, so printed with the bog standard generic PLA settings, which was uh, 215 degrees uh, and a 60 degree bed. Um, it says actually on the filament, uh, print temp is between 190 and 230. That's what it says on there, as you can see. So yeah, I just chucked it on 215 and that's the result. 
And I've got to say, apart from a little bit of stringing, that's pretty damn good. Now, it could be that that stringing is down to temperature. It could be that it's down to retraction settings. Um, I kind of think it's probably going to be temperature, and I probably think if I messed about with it a bit, I could probably get rid of most of that stringing. But that wasn't what it was about. It was just about chucking it on, seeing what it did. And I was particularly impressed. Now, I know under these lights, hello, I'm on seriously out of focus. I know under these lights, it shows up every little issue. I know that when you, as you all know, when you look at something with your naked eye, um, it looks wonderful. And then when you look at it with these harsh lights on it and a close up with the camera, it shows up every little issue there is. But I'm fairly impressed with that, I've got to say. Um, like I say, apart from a little bit of stringing, to say that was just thrown on with generic settings, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I pulled it out of the um, Prusa, switched the A-net, no, not the A-net, the CR10 on the A-net's gone. Scout Group's got that. Uh, switched the CR10 on, which is a, a bog standard CR10, except I've put uh, ABL sensor on it and it's got the dual lead screws on it now, which I've got videos for if you want to look at those. But apart from that, it's bog standard. It's got an IKEA mirror tile. Same thing again, I used, I think, Chris Elkins uh, S3D settings and chucked that on. I'm sure you've all printed one of those before. No issues with it. it, it flexes the way it should do. There's no problems with it. If I pull it in and see if I can get it in focus for you. Again, the tiniest bit of stringing, but only the tiniest bit. Again, the temperature I think was set to 215. So maybe just knock that temperature down a little, you know, maybe knock it down to 210, 25 even, might get rid of that bit of stringing. But another good print. Nothing special, no time taken to uh, try and make it 100% perfect. Just put it out there, chucked it through slicer, um, S3D, and, and printed it. And again, you know, if I spend a, another couple of hours getting it set exactly right, I can't see there being any issues with that at all. So I was, I was pleased, I've got to say I was pleased. Um, and then I thought, well, I've got this pink filament, but I've not actually printed anything that should be pink. So I think I went on to Thingiverse, or it could have been my manufacturer, I can't remember which, and I thought, let's find something that should be printed pink. How about a pink elephant? Articulates, front legs, back legs, head bobbles up and down. This was printed back on the Prosha, the i3 Mark III, again, just generic settings using um, their slicer software with their addition of the software. Chucked it on and let it print. It's printed with 0% infill. Um, again, 215 degrees uh, and 60 on the bed. And that isn't half bad. Now there is, you can see, as a bit of an, sorry for my fingers, but I've been at work all day. There's a bit of an issue there uh, as people know who've printed this, it actually prints like that. That's how it prints on the print bed. Uh, and I think that's possibly an extrusion issue. I don't know. Um, I'm sure, again, if I took a bit of time and changed some settings, come on, focus, change some settings, um, I could get it perfect. But for straight out the box, straight on the printer, and straight printed you can't can't argue with it the layer lines are, are, are really pretty good come on camera focus focus doesn't want to focus one day i'll get a decent camera one day we'll make this all worthwhile there's no obvious layer lines on it there's no issues with it at all uh i've got to say i'm really pleased really pleased for a 16 pound filament uh, with 275 delivery can't go wrong another thing I wanted to point out is the colour reproduction I know with some filaments uh, generally at the bottom end of the scale what happens is is when you print with the filament uh, it tends to lose some of its colour it tends to lighten 
once it's been heated and then cooled down again it, you don't get the same coloration well I've got to say no problem with that here whether you can see that but what's on that roll is exactly the same color as what I've got here it's printed it perfectly there's no change in color so if you want something specific color wise um, that's what you're going to get now it's not in a box anymore uh, it's not in a, the plastic anymore but it came in a, uh, a heat shrinked bag a clear bag so you can tell what color your filament is without having to read the label or anything like that because some companies put them in these foil ones that you can't see in I think I prefer clear I know what I'm doing then I know what I'm picking up but yeah I've got to say I'm impressed uh, a real nice company to speak to and was particularly helpful um, and I think I want to have, try some more I've looked on their website and they've got lots of fluorescent filaments um, they've got a wood filament there's you know there's some interesting things on there and they have told me that as a, a company they are looking to expand they've got some interesting things going on in 2018 which are secret at the moment but in the fullness of time you know we'll get to find out about them um, a real nice company a, they're they're passionate about what they do I mean I know a lot of 3d printing companies are um, because we're quite a niche market uh, you do tend to find that people that work for the companies and the companies themselves are enthusiastic about 3d printing and there's there's no difference with this company at all you know yeah all right they're out there to make money everybody is um, but the products good the supports good uh, and the price is good so it's a win-win for me um, so again I'd just like to thank Florence Tech for you know letting me review it they haven't paid me for this review um, like I've said I paid the postage and packing they gave me the filament to test there's there's no money changed hands there's no give us a nice review and you know we'll chuck some money your way or we'll you know there's nothing like that involved it's just tell us what you think um, and you know thanks for that so that's what I've done look out look for it have a look in the description because I'll put links to the eBay page and to their uh, their actual website have a look at what they've got in stock I know they've got a big shipment coming over in the next couple of weeks um, so anything that, m that may be out of stock at the moment I think we'll be back in fairly quickly I think I'm going to go back on and I might look at a fluorescent but might look at the wood as well I've had a couple of wood PLAs before and I'd just like to see how maybe how their stacks up but if I do get hold of any more, I'll sure I'll do your review. Good or bad, I'll do your review. I'm I'm not a yes man. Uh, if I don't like something about it, you'll know about it. Uh, one thing I will point out, um, nothing to do with this filament at all, but I will actually stick, uh, I might stick a photo on Twitter of the first time I printed this. Uh, it came out really well, really pleased with it, but I had a black line across the top of there along the funnels and along here and I thought where's that come from why have I suddenly got a black line in the middle of a pink print and what it was was before I started printing with this filament I was printing this with some carbon fiber uh, and the issue was I had a, I'd had a bit of a problem with it uh, it was my own fault it was nothing to do with the machine or the filament it was me being an idiot uh, and I'd got when I'd been feeding it into the extruder I would made a bit of a mess and I'd got some round the the end of the nozzle so what had happened was while this was being printed because the nozzle wasn't perfectly clean there was some carbon fiber filament right at the top and because it was hot all the time it was printing it slowly used its way down the side of the nozzle and when it got to that level it dripped onto the nozzle so I had a single layer all the way across the boat of the carbon fibre filament which looked blinking awful it's got to be said so if you do have an issue and you get a clogged nozzle or when you're feeding it in it goes everywhere try and get the temperature up a fair bit and give it a good wipe and make sure you get it all off because otherwise you might ruin what otherwise is a really nice print with a really nice PLA 
and a stupid black line across it. So I printed it again and it came out beautifully. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting me by being subscribing. Uh, the guys that are following me on Twitter, fantastic. Always leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. You know, let me know what the weather's doing. I don't give a monkeys. Um, Patreon, don't forget Patreon. Um, I look forward to seeing you again in the future uh, when I've got something else to talk about, something new to show you, or some other thing that makes it worthwhile switching that thing on and for me to waffle to you. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.